Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2 as Japan. Uh, we finished our war against Great Britain last turn. Uh, we didn't get everything we wanted. We didn't get Hong Kong, which would have made us one of... Well, It's we already are the permanent power in China, but still. Uh, it would have been really great for us to get Hong Kong, because that is a strategic um, kind of... Oh, what is it? It's a, it's a pain, because it's right in between two major airfields, and we just barely have interlocking fields of coverage. If we would gotten Hong Kong, we could have put an airfield in there and had uh, total coverage along the Chinese coast in the South Pacific, or in Southeast Asia. But, instead, we got the little trade city they had up here in Northeast Asia, securing that, and leaving only the Germans as a major thorn in our side uh, in that region. Uh, as well as taking Fiji, which is really great because Fiji is a major base. Uh, if I remember, it's got a base capacity of 30, which is bigger than uh, Luganville, even though we've expanded that one, and bigger than Polynesia. So I want to make Fiji the linchpin of our South Pacific uh, command zone. Make it uh, something that would be hard to take. Uh, also, Fiji means we would we could put an airbase in Suva, which apparently the British already did. So in Suva, they should be able to get medium bombers to Luganville, which will give us more coverage there. And we can definitely have two airfields over Noumea uh, and New Caledonia, which will be great. Uh, I would like to take Samoa at some point. That would give us a string of islands here that could mutually support each other. Polynesia would still be probably pretty hard. Uh, because uh, air bases, uh, the ranges would still be kind of, it'd be iffy there, but still, it's really good. Uh, so, yeah. Also, we while we didn't get everything we wanted, we were able to prove we are the preeminent regional power in the Pacific. I would even say we are rivaling some of the uh, European regional powers, like Italy and maybe even France. Uh, making us a force to be reckoned with out here. Uh, our, still, our major enemy would be the United States. They do have the Philippines, which I would like them to... I would like to get rid of that, as well as uh, Guam, pushing them into the Central Pacific so that we would have complete control over here and this would be our defensive zone, but... We'll see. Either way, right now we're trying to shuffle our forces around back to the home area so we can put them in reserve, and then we're going to be undertaking a large refit program. And not to make the ships better, but just to reset their uh, their clocks so they're no longer obsolete, thus decreasing the amount that they cost per uh, month. Because right now, I mean, you're, this one's costing 514. Now it's, uh, it's a heavy cruiser. I don't know why you're still down there. So we're actually going to move you to Northeast Asia. Oh, you can't because you're being repaired. All right. Well, either way, we want to reset the clocks so they don't cost us as much in... Uh, 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 what, what am I trying to say? It doesn't cost us as much in maintenance. There we go. I had a brain fart there. So, let's go ahead, let's go to the next turn. We're going to be uh, pretty pretty far into the, the red, but uh, not much we can really do about that. So, next turn. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Naval Statistical Department has compiled a study of enemy aircraft losses during the recent war. Shouldn't be a lot. 21 aircraft shot down... Uh, so 81% shot down by other aircraft, 19 by fighters, none by anti-aircraft fire. Yeah, it sounds about right. Okay. Reserve all? Yes. Okay. We're back up. That's good. And we... St all right. So here's what we're going to do. First thing, we're going to have you... Uh, we're going to... This one built, actually. We're going to resume you. Uh, and we're going to start refitting... Uh, maybe not the destroyers, but we definitely want to refit some of our light carriers. So you are going to open design for rebuild. See, here's the thing, though. We're not going to be doing much. We're just going to be putting on the best uh, fire control there is. And that's it. It'll take four months. It'll cost 300-something a month. We're going to save that. Cancel that. Proof secondary guns. Okay, four months. So let's see. Does that... 
It increases it by a little bit. But other than that, it's fine. Save. Yes. Yes. So we'll have two Ryujos being refit. Doesn't cost a lot. Rebuild. Yes. Okay. The Taiyo class. Open design for rebuild. Electro optical director. Improved secondary guns. Okay. Take four months to do that. And do the rebuild. Yes. Rebuild ship. So I'll be four of those. That's all of our light carriers. Let's look at the Andronus. This one will cost something. Open design for rebuild. We're looking for electro optical director. Better three inches. Yes. Improved main guns, okay. Better 8-inch quality guns. Costs 1,000, and it'll take 6 months, but I'm okay with that. We will... Yeah, we're going to save that design. And uh, yeah, you're using oil, good. Uh, okay, and alright. Alright, we'll have to wait a couple of months. So let's go to the next turn. Major raising serious concerns on the way the Navy is handling its finances. Yes, yes. Major wants to enter a technology sharing agreement with Great Britain. Is that advisable? Uh, never. We just got it done with fighting them. Okay, let's put you on halt construction. Save some money. Could save a little bit extra money by doing that, but I kind of want to keep tabs on... You know, no, we're going to keep tabs on Germany. All right, we did save a bit of money there, so let's look at the Hosho class. Open design for a rebuild. What can it do? Slightly overweight, fire control not the best. So you're overweight here for some reason, so can't even do that. We need to actually replace machinery on this ship. So this will be a major refit. That gives us an extra 400 tons which doesn't really help us uh, do much. Um, I mean, could we even... I could get it to 31 knots. So you'd be a major refit for the Hoshos. Okay. Let's start looking at these cruisers. Open design for rebuild. You're using coal. So we might actually just scrap you and start putting in the new light cruisers. Like, yeah, it's 10 months already. Put oil on you. That's still 10 months. Can't get better 6 inches. We got nothing else there. A better fire control. It's 10 months. Less than a 1,000. I mean, I would like to pop it up to 30. I mean, we could do 31 knots with an oil. It's 12 months. I'm thinking we might get rid of this one. I'm thinking these two really old light cruisers, I'm thinking we're going to scrap them right now. If we scrap them, uh, you're not costing that much, but uh, that's the question. Definitely the big ones are going to have to be done. We'll wait until the uh, carriers are finished. Uh, the Hosho is going to be a major refit. Uh, the Kaga is still decent, but only for a little while. I think it's 12 years or something like that before it's obsolete and starts going up in its, uh, maintenance requirements. We'll have to see. Uh, alright, we're still building subs, too. That was, that, that's a lot of our budget is going. Okay, either way, next turn. Fascist Coup takes place in Germany. Hey, only, what, uh, actually a little bit more than 10 years late? Yeah. Yeah, there they are. Naval Secretary has read a book on naval strategy extolling cruiser warfare. He wants you to build at least eight additional cruisers. I would love to. I would really. Uh, prestige, double, budget down. Four extra. Give us budget. I'll lose prestige, but we could use the extra budget. Okay, our scientists have finally figured out the workings of uh, v VHF, wow, radio in aircraft. 
Okay, so incre increased cap effectiveness. That's good. Uh, we are now in the positive. If we build a ship, do we have a light cruiser? We do. Um, I'm thinking two of the... Uh, if we build one more of those. Yes. Okay, so we got another one building. Uh, we still need the other uh, Zoriho. Oh, by the way, uh, one of my patrons, because it is the beginning of the month, and I think it should be started. I think I should have remembered to put it on the last one. One of my patrons uh, re-upped their... Uh, their payment out oh, is, is the oh, rename ship. There we go. Uh, so let's look. Do I still have your name written down so I don't so I don't screw it up? Uh, no, doesn't look like it. Oh, well, either way, I think I got it. The Mikey R. So we got the Crimson Asar and the Mikey R of the Zorio class. So there we go. Uh, welcome back, Mikey. Uh, a captain of the regiment, which is, if you don't know, what I call my patrons. Um, let's make sure everybody's in reserve. Well, I think everybody is in reserve. That, yeah, yeah I think everybody is. So, all right. So we'll have to deal with fascist Germany uh, at some point in the future, most likely. Next turn. Uh, there's been an internal upheaval in Celebs and Monaclis. Uh If we send an expeditionary force to restore order... Uh, yes, let's do that. An order is restored. Now under our administration. Okay, scientists report that they are well the way to understanding, uh, plating. Has it developed a float plane scout as a private venture? Okay, what's the new float plane? This one's not that old. Two years newer, so it's a little faster. Cruising speed's less. Range is less. In every bracket, doesn't have as much firepower. It's a little bit more maneuverable and has worse bomb handling. Yeah, it's a horrible float plane. Don't uh, don't come back to me or my navy ever again. Yeah, we took that base, which was only added in halfway through our towards like uh, I think last week or the week before last and <laughs> latest update. So we got that base pretty immediately. But that is nice. That gives us a fairly good base to go off of. Yes, all air bases on reserve saves us money. Okay, one more month. All of these will be refit. So let's go. Next turn. There we go. Reconstruction. Uh, government is concerned about tensions leading to war. You've been called to give advice. What do you recommend? Uh, disarmament conference. Want peace arm for war? Yes. New Russian fighter is entering service. I need to look at our aircraft types, so... We have an old fighter here, the 1945 one. So we're going to obsolete the old 1943 and B. Uh, the Waka is uh, doing fine. Uh, we have a 1944 torpedo bomber. slowly being replaced by this one. It's peacetime, so we're going to... Well, no, dive bomber. The newer one is taking a while. So we've basically, right now, we just, we're just having a... Um, a problem with uh, with refitting such a large force. We have a lot of aircraft. So it's taking a while for the new ones to come out. Uh, like if we check our almanac, how many aircraft we have. We have 1,500 aircraft, which is larger than anyone else other than Great Britain. But most of that stuff's in Europe. So I think we have the largest Pacific air fleet. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking, though, it's taking so long, we need to develop a new... Uh, because we got the torpedo... Okay, let's not let's not look at these two, because these are being replaced. So, the fighter is a 1945 one. It takes a couple of months for there, and there is no new one. So, we're going to request a new fighter prototype, uh, with the priority being its speed and its maneuverability. <clears throat> Making it fast and maneuverable. Okay, we got that going. We got, uh, some new ships that can start being worked on. Um... Can build another heavy cruiser. And then I will... Mm, can we build a cheaper... Can we build a cheaper light cruiser? It's not that cheap. That's uh, it's kind of expensive. Um, hmm. That wouldn't even work either because of... Yeah, that wouldn't even work. Uh... Let's, uh, 
Let's delete you, delete you, and you. <clears throat> Let's bring the mine warfare down completely. Let's not put mines on this. 33 knots is good. 2-inch belt's good. 4-inch uh, guns, dual-purpose mounts. Can we put the 6-inchers dual-purpose auto-loading mounts? Okay, maybe just standard 6-inch guns. Okay, so we got that. Electro-optical detector, we've got AA detectors. All right, let's add mounts. We want uh, port and starboard swivel mounts, port and starboard, port and starboard. We want those to be three torpedo mounts. We got all those going in. So it's slightly overweight. Clear mounts. Let's do port and starboard. Port and starboard. Just two of those, and we'll have those be four apiece. Okay, it's slightly overweight. So if we drop this down to 31 knots, we can drop the four inch guns to six four inch guns. Okay. And can we drop the weight a little bit? An 8,000 ton light cruiser. Cheap. Cheaper, I mean, compared to the, uh, the, uh, Yo I will be the Yoshino, the Yoshino class. So it's, uh, it's about, uh, 2,000 tons of lighter. It's a little bit slower. This would be more like a, hmm, do we want to do that? That's the question. Do we want to, uh... We'd be sacrificing a lot for it. It's not even that much cheaper. No, it's not really worth it. Uh, we will need new uh, destroyers. Uh, we'll just take the extra... Yeah, because we have to have nine of these damn things being built. We're not going to do that. We don't have the money for it uh, with how much things cost and what they're charging us for everything. So what we really need to do now is with the extra money we've got... Uh, wait until the Andronis has finished her refit and then go ahead and do a uh, start doing refits of the Hosho class and then uh, probably uh, the Matsunima Matsunima Matsunima? I'm not sure uh, refit you because you're going to start going into obsolete soon and then uh, then the big boys and we're going to start cutting away at the uh, the cost of running this navy uh, also, make sure everybody's in reserve. There we go. All right. Next turn. Under pressure of the Nationalist politicians, the government allocates more funding to the Navy. Thank you. Early blind fire capability. Nice. A new U.S. medium bomber called the Grumman Invader is entering service. Room to be faster than our fastest medium bomber. A uh, new U.S. fighter, the Brewster Seamew Mew? Uh, is entering service. Okay. Another 4,000 on there. We can start refitting the Hoshos. Or... Are you coal-fired? Let's let's see. What is... Uh, open design for rebuild. These are coal-fired. How many of these do we got? This is the Nelkazi class. Shit, we got a lot of those. We need to refit them. These things are coal-fired. So replace machinery. We're putting you on oil. Everything else, though, is... Pretty much exactly what we expect, that we could up the mounts to three. And a better fire control. In fact, can we increase the tubes to four, giving them eight? Okay, we got that. And can we just up... Okay. That's not that expensive for refitting quite a few of our destroyers. So that makes them 33 knots. That puts them on a competitive basis. I mean, they've got a smaller gun but we've increased their torpedo tubes by quite a bit so instead of four we've doubled their mounts so we've doubled what they've got and we can put on some let's put an aa director on there and let's put a couple of medium anti-aircraft guns with a couple of, of light ones just to up its capability some some anti-aircraft weapons on there to make it a little better I mean, we could make this a dual purpose but we don't have that ability we don't have the weight either so we'll do that it's a fairly good refit, and if we put diesel on there, we could get a little extra. 
but it would cost a bit more. We'll make them oil-fired for right now. Uh, that says it's all okay, so we're going to go ahead and start refitting these. Yes, the 1948. I want you to rebuild, and I want all of these to rebuild. Yes. Okay, that'll, that'll save us some money. And then we got the 1935 ships here, these 2,500 ton boys. Let's uh, open design for rebuild. They're 35 knots. Um, okay, so you're oil fired. We don't need to replace machinery from you. We can improve, we can put you to advanced director. Five inch guns are going to be the same. Can we get better three inchers? We can. I think that's good. You get eight torpedo tubes. You got a little bit of anti aircraft capability. I mean, we might be able to squeeze out just a little bit more. How do you? Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. Doesn't cost that much, about 300. We will save that and refit these. There's a lot of them. A lot of these guys. Uh, let's go ahead and rebuild ships. Yes. All right, let's go to the older 1917 ones. Um... If we look at you, if we open design for a rebuild, you're coal, so we're going to need you to go on to oil firing. Uh, advanced director. Let's increase your tubes a bit. Make you even harder. Make you a dual purpose mount. And then add a couple of anti-aircraft guns on board you to help out. And we could... 33 knots... I think that's good. That is a decent rebuild right there. Alright. We'll have to wait to refit the rest of the destroyer complements until uh, until the ones that we've currently got being refit uh, finish. So uh, we should be able to do that with the Andronus because uh, we'll see. Let's go to the next turn. There we go. Andronus finished her reconstructions. We got increased sub effectiveness. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. We got a thousand spare cash. We got all of these guys that we're going to go ahead and rebuild. Yep. Uh, we need to refit the Hosho as well at some point. But these guys, let's uh, open design for rebuild. They're coal firing, so they're going to need a refit to oil. We're going to increase their tubes. Four inch guns will make them dual purpose. They don't have any secondaries. Fire control, refit that to advanced. Then give these guys some anti aircraft capability. All right. That gives us a little bit. We could even up you to 34 knots. That'll make an eight-month refit. We got two of these guys. Save. Yes. And rebuild you as well. Okay. These guys will be next, then these guys, and then we should be pretty good. The only thing left to refit of the small forces will be the Corvettes, but really, I don't give a shit about the Corvettes. Uh, and then the big guys will be after that. But uh, these are quick, so we're going to kind of run through them. So next turn. British Governor's Office sell us the rights to turrets and torpedo mountings improved autoloader. We'll take that. So enables improved autoloader. Nice. French medium bomber entering service. Okay. Can't request anything for another six months. Another medium bomber might be something we want to pick up. Uh, ours is pretty good, though it's it's uh, poor reliability. Actually, quite a few of our new aircraft have poor reliability. All right, next month. There's considerable displeasure at the higher levels due to your failure to build the expected number of cruisers. Uh, okay, a new, uh, the Awade, the Heavy Cruiser Awade Commission of the Navy, during trials has found that it was had trouble reaching her desired speed of 32 knots, meaning she's only at 31. 
Okay, finished a reconstruction. Russian government is often sell, uh, buying the rights. Yes, go ahead and uh, buy those. Give us more money. Report that they are well on the way to understanding improved armor facing toughness. Improved ASW torpedoes. Uh, temporary setback in front of the concept of early blind fire capability. Ugh. New French fighter. It's faster than our fastest. Okay, we've got a little bit extra cash. Let's refit this uh, this group of destroyers. So you're on oil, so we don't need to replace that. Your five inches can be better. You can hmm. We are going to have to go ahead and replace machinery for you. It'll be an eight month overhaul, but we can go ahead and use that as a basis to give you better anti oh no, better anti aircraft capability. There we go. Can't increase your torpedo tubes because I don't think we can get five tubes. Oh, we can. Okay, so you're on five tubes. 64. Your speed's good. That's an eight-month overhaul. We will go ahead and save that. And start refitting you. Rebuild a couple of your ships. Alright, we should have some of these uh, destroyers start rolling off here pretty soon. Under pressure from nationalist politicians, the government is allocating more funding to the Navy. Good, good. Eleven destroyers finished the reconstruction. Uh, unexpected advances in machinery development. Uh, chaff dispersers. Nice. That increases our, uh, decreases our chance of getting hit by uh, missiles. Uh, you two are going to be going ahead and getting refit. Yes, rebuild those. Then we got this ship design. These came out in 1930 to 35. Uh, you're on oil. That's good. Uh, you've got plenty of spare uh, weight. We're going to increase your tube mountings to five, giving you ten torpedoes. 34 knots is fine. Your five, four inches are good. Your dual purpose. Uh, give you director fire control for there. Is there anything? Uh, improved secondaries. Oh, three inches are better now. Right. Okay, and we can go ahead and pop some anti-aircraft on here, give you guys a better shot. Okay, we can't have max, but that's still good. It's a little bit extra anti-aircraft to put on to you. I like that. Three-month refit, that's not bad. There's quite a few of these to refit as well, so let's just pop them onto the slipways. Get you all rebuilt. And that's all of our light forces. Okay, next turn. Improved uh, armor face toughness, gradual improvement of armor quality. Nice, nice. Improved streamlining and gradual AP... Uh, streamlining, not streamlining. Streamlining. Uh, increased AP penetration improvement, uh, better medium bombers than ours from the U.S. Okay, a couple months and we'll have our new destroyers ready. Okay, new heavy cruiser finished or working up. Offering to sell us the rights to radar and electronics improved blind fire capability. We'll take that tech. So improved blind fire accuracy, fire control radar 3. Thank you. New Russian torpedo bombers entering service will be faster than our fastest torpedo bomber. Okay. Two more months for the new fighters to be uh, worked out. Okay. You're almost out. You're almost out, so we're going to go ahead and retire, obsolete this dive bomber, the Kaoko C. And there's less than a, almost less than 100 of you, so we're going to go ahead and uh, obsolete you. Okay. That's good. Floatplane Scout's probably the oldest after our fighter, so we might go ahead and uh, get a new one of those. So, next turn. Three destroyers can finish the reconstruction. Offering to sell us rights to stub Submarine's Electroboat. We'll take that. So, increased uh, in submarine effectiveness. Uh, plastic interior fittings, 1% weight savings on hull. Nice. Uh, intelligence report. There are reports that German scientists have invented early electronic gunnery computer. Hmm. Okay, you're all refit. So now we're going to the Ho Show. 
Open design for a rebuild. You're on oil firing, but we're going to need to replace machinery so that you are no longer overweight. Give us electro optical director. Five inch guns are fine. Uh, all that's good. We could go ahead and give you deck park and uh, uh, deck edge lifts and then increase your aircraft complement just a teensy bit. That, or we could put catapults on you. If we add catapults, we need port and starboard forward catapults. Okay, and then can we put one more aircraft? So 63 aircraft, three extra aircraft, and two catapults on board. That'll be a year refit, 2,000 apiece, but I'm okay with that. Nothing else can be fixed up. We're going to go ahead with that. Okay. Yes. Refit you and the other Hosho, the Akagi, you will also be rebuilt. Okay, it's expensive, but we'll have a lot of destroyers coming off the slips here pretty soon for their refits. So, uh, next turn. Uh, oh, and we commissioned submarines into the Navy. Uh, ten destroyers finished their reconstruction. During maneuvers, one of our ships opened fire on a fishing boat from France, sinking the boat and killing several fishermen. How do you react? Full compensation. It was fishing in our restricted waters. New fighter prototypes ready for evaluation. So the Waka. Uh, so let's see. They're all over 400 for their max speed. Cruising speeds are a little bit better. Ranges are all better by quite a bit. Uh, except for the XF-76 by the Kyushu Company. Uh, medium range. They're all better. And heavy or and uh, uh, light, medium, and heavy ranges are all better. They've got better firepower, maneuverability is the same or better, toughness is the same or better. They don't have light bomb loads, but they can mount a thousand pound bombs on their medium loads and two thousand pound a, a single two thousand pound bomb on their heavy, which is better than the Waka. They're all carrier. Okay, I'm thinking. Hmm. So let's look. Let's look here. No, let's look here. This has the best max speed, the best cruising speed, the longest range in every bracket, better firepower, better maneuverability, better toughness, and a better uh, uh, bomb loads. This is to be the Nakajima XF-74. I think we're going to take that. We'll take that. And then of aircraft types that are currently... Also here, we're going to go ahead and implement a new float plane scout. Which needs range and reliability. Except that. Take a year for that new fighter to come out. Uh, all right. But looking at the time, we're going to have to end the episode there. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. If you want to support the channel, hit the subscribe button down below, as well as take a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. But I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye.